Hi, in this video, we learn about SVIS7 series AC drive or inverter manufactured by LS Electric. It's a South Korean company which also manufactures power equipment and automation products like PLC, servo, HMI, SCADA and DCS. Different type of inverter series are available for a wide range of industrial applications which can be select based on our application and power requirement and in this session our focus will be on IS7 series high performance drive. Inverter specifications mentioned on the right bottom of the device. If we go through the details of the model name then first two letters denote starboard series and next four number represents the motor rating in kilowatt. IA7 is the series name of high performance drive. The next number represent the three phase input voltage level to the drive and represents without keypad or a graphic loader which is used to program and monitor the inverter parameters. It's similar to BOP in Siemens. Next letter denotes enclosure type. The next letter F denotes inverter in built EMC filter. That is electromagnetic compatibility and its purpose is to reduce the transfer of electromagnetic noise between the drive and the main supply. The next letter indicate whether the inverter has inbuilt DC reactor or DB resistor. The purpose of DC reactor is to suppress harmonics generated on the inverter input side. It is also useful for power factor improvement. And the DB resistor is actually a dynamic braking resistor which is used on AC drives to dissipate energy that is produced in the motor as drive provide braking torque to stop the motor. And the last letter represent customized model for a specific purpose like web winder, position, safety. For hardware details, we need to take out front cover. For that, we have to first unlock the keypad and disconnect RJ45 connector from its back and remove the bottom screw. Then it looks like this. After removing the front cover, there are three option slot to install additional modules. Option slot 1 used for field bus module for inverter communication. Slot 2 is used for PLC and extension IOs. Slot 3 for encoder and position control and one input output board slot for control terminals. There is a communication card inside the cover which connect option modules through pin connector. This is the different type of field bus module which can be used for option slot 1. Now let's have a look at the input output control terminals. There are two user defined multifunction relays which can be programmable to activate the conditions like overload, overcurrent, fan warning, overheat, then communication failure and so on. So these two relays are A1, C1, B1 and A2, C2 where C is the common terminal and Q1 is the multifunction open collector output terminal with EG is the common terminal for open collector. 24 is the output terminal for external 24 volt DC with common for the external 24 volt and there are 8 multifunction input terminals P1 to P8 and VR plus VR minus and V1 are the analog voltage terminals generally used for potentiometer. I1 is a multifunction analog current input terminal as a range 0 to 20 milliampere. 5G is a common terminal for analog voltage and current terminals. As AO1 is a multifunction analog voltage output terminal range 0 to 10 volt. And AO2 is multifunction analog current output terminal 0 to 20 milliamps. S plus S minus CM terminal used to send or receive RS485 signals 
for communication. Now let's see the power terminals RST terminal for three phase input power to the inverter. P positive and B terminals are used to connect external dynamic brake resistors. Keep in mind this this terminal connections for up to 22 kilowatt inverter and UVW are the inverter output terminal to connect three phase supply to the induction motor. Above the control I.O. board there is NPN or PNP selection switch and one PTC selection switch. Above S plus S minus control terminal there is TR switch which is used to terminate RS485 network connection. There is one EMC filter switch which actually a jumper locate inside a plastic cap which is used to activate or deactivate EMC filter. That's all about the hardware basics. In next videos we will cover programming and troubleshooting. Thank you for watching.